Hey Stella Stars, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here in Port Harcourt and I'm heading over to Creek Road Market here in Port Harcourt to get some seafood for the house and other stuff. I was just trying to do some OOTD but it wasn't working. Anyway guys, it's so hot in here today and I want you guys to come with me while I do my little shopping. I hope you enjoy the video. So we just passed my three and this is my one flyover. This is where it leads you to the other part of Port Harcourt called town. So we're going to town and that is where Creek Road Market is located which is a market we're going to, to buy stuff today. Guys, this place is so far away from where I live like you have no idea. But I like to come here to shop once in a while and I, whenever I come to this market I like to buy things in bulk. This part of Port Harcourt you can see is where River State has. Uh, governor's house is located it's where the silver bird cinema is located it's like more like the quiet or should i say the calm part of port harcourt as you can see it's really greenery and beautiful and not so busy like the other part where we were coming from and if you guys want to see an official tour of port harcourt video let me know also down in the comment section i'll be more than glad to do that for you i forgot to add that the spa is also located at this part of this part of port harcourt guys do you guys see that stuff it's called mono that is what one of our governor which is the past governor was trying to create but he he wasn't able to complete it and it's just there so this is river state governor's house and this place is actually secretariat that is where all the government and parastatas are located finally arrived at where i want to get something and i'm so exhausted you can see from my face right tired.com i'm so tired so i'm just waiting for the lady to come and get her money let me go do my shopping if i hadn't said that guys this market is actually a street market like they have things people selling stuff street and i don't like buying things from these people on the street because i feel their prices are more on the high side compared to those inside the market so i'm just actually going inside the market to see my customer where i'm going to buy stuff from so yeah you can buy from the street if you want to if you don't want to waste your time but i like to go inside the market and see things more variety at cheaper prices because i like my again okay i have to just again <laughs> The major thing that brings me to this market is Oporo and crayfish. Like I like the name Big Crayfish a lot. So that is what you're seeing. It's so fresh, it's sweet, and it's 4,500 for the big custard rubber. You can see, and the other one, Oporo, is also 4,500 um, for the custard rubber. But I was able to get it for 4,000 because I'm a very good baguette. <laughs> So yeah, we're just moving to get it. So after I discussed price with her, I needed to use the ATM and they didn't have that, but they had POS. So we went to get money from the POS. She's the one going for the daddy you can see. She's actually going to show me where I can get cash from the POS before we come back and start buying my crayfish and oporo from her.
guys i decided to get some dry fish this is dried catfish and you can use it to make your soup your yam pepper soup anything you like it right so i got some and um, that one the lady was holding she told me 500 for each which i think is really affordable if you're buying this thing outside this market it's really really expensive Then I decided to get some peppers for the house. This one is very spicy. The smaller ones are more spicy than the longer ones. So I got the short smaller ones. I got about seven cups and I think that's supposed to fill that supposed to fill the, the um, tomatoes container. So she's just putting this one for my sister before she added mine. So yeah, each of those cups, I think I got one for about 170 per cup. So everything came up to about 700 and something there. I don't know, I wasn't counting. I just gave her money and she gave it to someone to grind it and give me my chain. So that's my sister you're seeing there. My auntie actually. She I met her in the market. What a coincidence, right? <laughs> After then, I decided to drop some of the things I got in the car. So I'm just going to my car to put some of the things in the car so I can head over to the water side to get some seafood. So we're just walking towards where we can get seafood. This is a street, and I think this one is called Agri Road. I don't know. But yeah, I know the market's more of street, 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 and then the water side. So we're walking to the extreme, which is the water side. You can see from here. The way that vehicle is coming out from so yeah Behind these people guys, like behind all the shop, there is a very big sea, should I call it sea or river? No, it's a sea, it's not a river. You can actually go from there to Boni to other parts of the world from that river, that sea, river. I think it's even an ocean. But yeah, you can see that that's where they bring most of the seafood from. It actually is fresh, everything in this market is really fresh and that's one thing about it. It's really far from my house. So when I have opportunity to come, I try to come. I get whatever I want and I buy them as much as I can. So it takes me a long time before coming back here to get anything. I'm very picky guys when it comes to buying stuff you can see i'm just like checking through everything those are actually what i wanted to buy but i was looking for someone who has more fresher and uh, more good looking prawns so you can see i want to get shrimps i'm getting shrimps not even prawns i think prawns are those big ones i don't like them i like them sometimes but not for what i'm going for so i like to take the other one she's actually pointing at that's what i'm buying today and i'm buying about the one for I think about six places i told her to take off the head and everything and just prep it for me so it's easy for me to wash and put it in my freezer and use it whenever i want to use it so guys i forgot to add that is called Oporo, like that is what we call it here in River State. I don't know any other place. Fresh Oporo is what you can call it in the market. Well, I think the English name is the English name is shrimps. I can't even talk today. So that is um Mba. We call it Mba in my place. I don't know what they call it here. I think it's called oyster. Yeah, that's oyster. The English name for the other one is oyster. Why this one is Prewiko? The one she's actually using to wash her head. Oh my god, what we eat. Perico and the one she's showing you that one is called Ngolo that is what we call it I don't know the English name for that as well I don't know I don't know <laughs> it's 
so she's just trying to show me that it's fresh because I was complaining and I bought that one too also in bulk so she prepped everything and kept it ready for me So I decided to get some cocoyam. It's cocoyam in English, but it's actually called a day. So I'm using it to prepare native soup. Guys, if you haven't tried River's native soup, you better ask me to prepare that soup for you guys on this channel. <laughs> so you guys can see how delicious and nutritious it looks. So that's what I'll be preparing with that a day. And um, I was just about buying Premico from that lady, but I noticed that Premico wasn't really looking fresh. Like, guys, I'm very selective when it comes to buying stuff. Really, really selective. Especially what is going to go into my tummy, anyways. So I didn't buy from her anymore, and I went for that to get from some other person. I also got some Oziza seed because you can't prepare native soup, reverse native soup without that. And you can see the Premico I got from this other girl was looking fresher and uh, more bluish and you could see it's actually very fresh. So I got lots of Premico from her and I'll be storing this in the freezer. If you want to see a video how I prep my seafood and store them in the freezer, actually my Premico, let me know because people complain that when they buy their Premico and they store it, it actually changes color. There's how I prep my and I store it and it still remains the same way till when I want to use it. So if you want to see how I'm able to do that, let me know as well. So guys i'm done with buying all my things the seafood and everything that brought me to this market so i'm just walking to meet up my to meet my car and we've come to the end of this vlog i hope you found this very helpful please subscribe to my channel like share and also leave your comments below till i see you next time